Howdy. In this video, we're going to talk about all the different harmonics. And I'm going to talk about the first three harmonics. And then from there, you can hypothetically uh, know all infinite numbers. So, taking a look at number three, it says calculate the resonance frequency. So, F is what I'm looking for of the first harmonic of a standing wave, and this is also called, the first harmonic is a fundamental frequency. If the length is equal to one meter, and my velocity is equal to 100 meters per second. Now, let's talk about what the first harmonic looks like. What I'm going to do with the first harmonic is I'm going to take this string, and I'm going to pull it right down the middle. Okay, I'm literally going to take this and I'm going to pull it right down the middle to where this is the length L over 2. And when I pull this down and I let it vibrate, what will happen is that it will come back up. I'm going to pull it down and it's going to come back up and then it will come back down. And I'll go up and then down and then up and then down and so forth. And if you notice with this, if you notice that your wavelength, notice how your wavelength here is equal to, well if that's L, and what would happen is you go up and then around, lambda is equal to 2 times L, or in essence your length is lambda over 2. And so if you want to find your frequency, if velocity is equal to lambda times F, that means that F is v over lambda and in our case we have that lambda is 2 times L so it's going to be 2 meters so that means that your frequency is your 100 meters per second divided by 2 meters which comes out to 50 Hertz. Let's talk about the second harmonic. With the second harmonic what I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck it right here at L over 4. Okay, So I'm going to take this string, I'm going to plug it at L over 4, and now let's see what happens. What happens in this case is after I pluck it, it's going to come up, and then it's going to come down, and then it'll come back up right here all the way to the edge, back up and then come back down and then come back up and so not the best of drawing but hopefully you get the idea of what's going on it's going to go up and then down and then up and then down and then so forth and it'll keep on going now if you take a look at this my wavelength my wavelength is now 1L Lambda is equal to L, which means obviously L is equal to lambda. So if you want to find your resonance frequency, this is equal to V over lambda. And so it's going to be 1 meter. So this is going to be 100 meters per second divided by 1 meter. And that comes out to 100 hertz. Now there's a little bit of vocab that I want to talk about with this second harmonic. These points right here, these points right here, these are called your nodes. Okay, so your second harmonic has three nodes, and what these points are going to be called are your anti nodes. So your anti nodes, and so your second harmonic will have two anti-nodes and three nodes. So that's going to be a little bit of vocab right there for you. Now for this, this one right here, so first harmonic, if you look at it, has one anti-node. Second harmonic has two anti-nodes. Third harmonic is going to have three anti-nodes. And so here's what your third harmonic wave would look like. What would happen is whenever we pluck it, it will go up. And then down, and then up, and then at this point, this is when it will reach the other end, 
and we'll just keep going down. And I'm really bad at drawing pictures. I apologize. Up and go like this. And so this would be your third harmonic. Your third harmonic would end up having three anti nodes. And one, two, three, four nodes. And so in this situation, notice how my lambda, lambda is now going to be my one wavelength. Notice it only reaches two thirds L. It'd be two over three L. And so likewise, L would be three halves of a wavelength. It'd be 1.5 wavelengths, right? You go one full wavelength and then half a wavelength. And so in this situation, if lambda is two-thirds your length, this would be two over three meters, and so your resonance frequency in the third harmonic, V over lambda, is going to be 100 meters per second divided by two-thirds of a meter, which, uh, if you put that in your calculator, should be 150 hertz. Okay, so to kind of recap real quick, once again, with first harmonic, you'll have one antinode, and really, I guess, two nodes in this case. Uh, two nodes. And then in the second harmonic, we'll have one, two, three nodes, two anti. And that's all that's going on in these cases. I know these pictures can be somewhat confusing, but all we're doing is we're plucking it, and this is just going up and down and up and down and so forth. What matters is, is how is your wavelength and your length related. That's probably the most important thing when dealing with your different harmonics because then from there you can answer a variety of questions um, based on the type of harmonic that your string is experiencing.